you could well be ignoring the most underrated irons of 2024. If we bought golf clubs based on how many majors have been won using one particular brand, then all roads would lead us to Wilson. In 2019 at the US Open, Gary Woodland made it major win number 62 using Wilson staff model blades. So the question is, what makes Wilson iron so special and is the new 2024 lineup majorly different? Right, while we get the camera set up for the first shot of the day, before we go any further, I can't ignore just a how good these things look. So no matter which model you're going for, I'd be drawn to that sort of shiny staff model. It looks incredible. But even right at the other end, game improvement style, bulky, yeah, it's got a bit of mass, but as an aesthetic, any of these three models we're gonna look at today look superb. Oh, that's three shots hit each of the three different irons. I can already feel and see the difference and I'll explain that very soon. Also, well, essentially the first uh, feelings are that the forged iron feels superb. Uh, the middle iron, which is the forged Dyna Power, felt exceptional. And the Dyna Power, which is the game improvement iron, felt as you'd expect, but it was really good, but it was a lot more sort of just a bit more cumbersome overall. I don't know whether that's a feel thing, a mentality thing or whatever, but each of the irons have done what I expected them to do in terms of distance and ball flight as well. The weaker lofted, the staff model, pop the ball up really high. You can definitely see the power and zip in the Diner Power and uh, the one in the middle sits somewhere in between. So we've learned nothing yet. That's so good, you know. That's so good for a, I just literally, purely based on the width of sole, I would class that as a game improvement iron. That doesn't mean anything necessarily, it is what it is, but just on the sort of shaping of it, that's what it suggests. But it's got such a good amount of feel, and I was able to just shape that a little bit as well. Do you know what, I've hit, that's the fourth shot I've hit, and I'm already super impressed. Wow. Either I'm hitting the ball good or uh, or these clubs are something else. That's the four, it's dying apart. I have to keep on looking down to make sure I don't make a mistake again. So impressed by that one. Last one, the staff model. If I can do anything similar to those two with this, then uh, I'm really off to an absolute flyer with, the, with these things. Right, same again. We'll be aiming for a little bit of draw, you'll notice as well which is nice. Oh, look at that. Wow. I mean, I've just literally overcooked them both the last two, as in they've moved just a little bit. If I look at the flag, the wind is coming off the right and the curvature on that ball flight is just taken. They'll miss the green to the left, but everything about them, super ball flight, they just look like they're doing exactly what you'd expect or what you'd hope them to do. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Hot Golf, the online golf retailer for all major brands. And if you want new golf gear, then please support us by supporting them. Yeah, I started off this review and I'm being so, so positive. And because of the way reviews are kind of interpreted, you're almost like already, I'm thinking, right, can I find some negative in these things? Because otherwise, you know, there's just too much positivity on the channel. It's a weird way to have to go and do reviews, but generally, I, you know, I'm, I'm just drawn to a situation where I cannot believe how good these are. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm just going to I'll tell you how it is, and I'm not going to look for negative things. They might creep up as we carry on playing, but right now, just six shots in, I, uh, well, just like I said, I can't believe how good each of them are. Do you know what, the real star of the show is this Dyna Power Forge. It's the one that I keep saying sits in the middle, but for me, it's a combination between small and compact, very much a player's like iron. It's got that forged feel, 
but it's like an absolute rocket off it at the same time as well. We'll talk about dry ball data a bit later on at the very end, but this thing is, out of the three, it stands out a mile for me personally and everything I look for in an iron. Well, the final three shots you're gonna see me play are in uh, absolute pure slow-mo brilliance. A wonky swing that produces a real interesting ball flight with three of these clubs. The reason it's in slow-mo is for you to get a better idea of the ball flight of the three. Now, the interesting bit for me, I didn't hit the bulky club as well. It's a lower ball flight, uh, unnaturally lower compared to everything else I've hit today. So not the perfect example, when you see the next two, you will clearly see just how much of a higher ball flight they are. Um, and there's clearly a difference. We did record some dry ball data. The spin numbers are exactly where you'd expect them to be in the sense that a little bit on the lower side on the game improvement iron, as I'm gonna call it, not to a level that would concern me at all. Then you've got that sort of high spinning staff model. Again, really impressive and for that better player. And then you've got the one that sits in the middle, which is that Dynapower Forge, which every kind of number that I'd be looking for was hit. So it's a balance between, for me, a launch angle, a descent angle, a spin number, and then the overall carry, what am I getting from it? And all those combined were phenomenal numbers with the um, with the, the Dyna Power Forge. It's always a trouble with looking at three clubs in one review, it's just remembering the name of them all. And I'm not gonna go into mega detail on Trackman because I don't feel it's needed. I've seen out here the differences, which is where I like to see it and properly understand it. So I'm not going to go any further, I'm going to leave the review as simple and straightforward as that. My on-course experience, some visuals for you to take on board just how good these things look, and immediate on-course reaction like I've said. These are really, really good. And I was going to say at their price point, you'd be hard pressed to find any better competing iron in each of the categories. But the price points are relevant, these are still very, very good irons no matter what you put them up against. So super impressed with the Wilson lineup this year. And if you're gonna consider buying a new set of irons, then you must try one of these three, depending on what you're looking for, because I've got a feeling you'll find the answer in one of them. Right, that's me done. Over it's short and sweet. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button, all those things. Don't forget to subscribe. We still need your support. And uh, I'll see you all soon.